Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Rafael's Insights. Bienvenidos todos a mi canal de Rafael's Insights. Vamos a hacer los horóscopos de esta semana, 9 al 15, 9 to the, to the 15th. Um, this is going to be the second part from Libra to Pisces. So, let's get started. How is Libra going to be like this week from the 9th through the 15th? Definitely the card of the Seven of Cups is going to be the card that's going to be dominating you. Libra, the card of the Seven of Cups tells you to be careful with false promises. Be careful with false opportunities. Make sure that you analyze everything. There could have been a bit of an argumentative energy that you've been carrying. A bit of the, the eclipse affecting. The eclipse is going to affect a lot of people. Not just your sign, not just one sign. It could affect every single sign, but the most affected is going to be the water signs and the earth signs because anything that happens to the earth we instantly feel it in terms of the because of the eclipse the moon dominates water signs but it seems like there is it, the, the week starts off a bit of like fast moving stressful or argumentative but it does continue a bit emotional for you. Do you seem? Do you, I would recommend you give yourself a good cleanse because you do. The main thing that comes out for you is false promises, in terms of um, false opportunities, and a lot of argumentative energies. Emotional. You might continue the week very emotional. Give yourself a good cleanse to harmonize those energies. Like I said, burn incense to harmonize energies in your space, your office, your home. Use your intuition, and. Careful with lies. You, that's the main thing that comes up for you. Para este Libra te dice la carta del set de copas que tienes que usar mucho tu intuición. Como que te tienes que cuidar en cuestiones de, de, de gente que te quiere estafar, te quiere, te quiere como traicionar. Como que vas a va a haber una energía de emocional toda la semana para ti. Como que piensa con mucho estrés o muy rápida o muy corajudo. Te estás sintiendo muy corajudo con mucha tensión a tu alrededor de problemas. Cuidado con eso. Dice que tienes que analizar todo porque te, te están mintiendo, te están queriendo estafar. Si estás firmando algo, con mucho cuidado porque te quiere, como te digo, cuidado con las falsas promesas. Tienes que usar mucho tu intuición este, este, esta semana para ti. Como que te veo muy emocional. Si veo algo que, que tienes que celebrar, como que si te llega algo bueno para celebrar, pero más bien están las malas energías contigo. How is Scorpio going to be like this week from the 9th through the 15th? Scorpio. Definitely the card of the High Priestess is going to be the card that's going to be dominating you. For you, Scorpio, the High Priestess is telling you that things are balancing out for you, that there's positive changes coming to you this week. This card here says that you're thinking of going back to school or you may be going back to school this week. The card of the High Priestess says that a door is opening up for, for, for abundance, for opportunities. You also have the energy of the Hermit. You are feeling a bit dizzy or a bit depressed, migraines as well for you. And it's again, give yourself a good cleanse to shift those energies because it's the energy of the Eclipse. If you've been feeling emotional, if you've been feeling sad, if, if you've been feeling weird after the Eclipse, give yourself a cleanse because it might continue until you give yourself that cleanse. Seems like you're thinking a lot about things from the past, things that you wish you could have done, things that you wish could have been different. Focus on your present, focus on your future, because you're wasting too much energy on things from the past. Value what you have, not what you couldn't obtain, and not what you don't have. Definitely the card of the High Priestess says that you have to use your intuition a lot this week, and in terms of things that you're doing, analyze everything very carefully, careful with what you get involved with, careful with, with, with gossip. Para este escorpión te dice la carta de la sacerdotisa que te tienes que cuidar como que la energía te afectó en cuestiones de depresión, en cuestiones de, de mareos, dolores de cabeza, el, el eclipse. Entonces darte una buena limpia para quitarte eso de encima, pues si te estás sintiendo cansado también es por la energía del eclipse. Es que la energía negativa cuando uno se carga luego, luego recoge el cansancio, la depresión, la tristeza. Date una buena limpia para quitarte eso, una limpia de huevo, una limpia con flores pétalos de rosas, un baño con pétalos de rosas te ayuda mucho, pero te, como que te andas lamentando de cosas del pasado, tienes que soltar el pasado para que te llegue lo bueno, como que te está abriendo una puerta para que te llegue la abundancia, la felicidad, lo que estás deseando, y dice como que te están abriendo los caminos, que veo cambios positivos para ti, que este eclipse está trayendo cambios positivos para ti, pero si sí sentiste como que la energía muy revuelta, no como que estuviste pensando de regresar en la escuela o que vas a estar regresando a la escuela. Cuidado con involucrándote con chismes. How is Sagittarius going to be like this week from the 9th through the 15th? 
9 through the 15, Sagittarius. Definitely the card of the Nine of Pentacles is going to be the card that's going to be dominating you. Sagittarius, the Nine of Pentacles says that you, for, for many of you, or some of you that are my Sagittarius, are going to be receiving raises, bonuses, extra money. The card of the Nine of Pentacles is, is just that. It says it's raises. It's going to be a week of success. You do seem to be feeling a bit stressed. Organize yourself very well. Obstacles that, that were blocked begin to move for you. Things that were, that were stagnant begin to flow better for you. It says in terms of economically, things are going to be flowing better. You're able to resolve financial issues. Or you're able to get that money that you need so that you can be much better in terms of economically. There could be a trip that comes up towards the end of the weekend or the week as well either you get invited on a trip or you're going to be traveling this week and it's going to go great for you think about yourself this week in terms of decisions para este sagitario dice que tienes que pensar en ti mismo tienes que pensar en ti mismo en cuestiones de decisiones de todo lo que quieras hacer que te llega la energía del 9 de oros que es la suerte es el bonus es el, eh, el aumento que estabas esperando el dinerito extra que estabas esperando que te viene llegando como que te sale un viaje para finales de la semana o fin de semana también vas a estar viajando, te invitan en un viaje y que va a ser una semana de éxito que lo que estaba atorado se piensa fluir el dinero que estaba atorado piensa fluir tu economía piensa fluir mejor How is Capricorn going to be like from the 9th through the 15th? How is Capricorn going to be like from the 9th through the 15th? Definitely the card of the Queen of Swords is going the ah the Queen of Swords the Queen of Wands definitely the card of the Queen of Wands is going to be dominating you this week um, Capricorn the card of the Queen of Wands says that you do seem to be feeling a bit stressed or a bit angry watch yourself careful with 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 feeling for of letting that argue that argumentative energy that that you have create arguments and problems. Try to take it easy this week. Make sure you're very you plan things very well. You seem to be able to overcome obstacles, but you just feel very stressed or overwhelmed or tired. Definitely the card of the of the Queen of Wands still says that it's going to be successful. Just watch out for envious energies and conflicts with people at work. Not a time to start a business for you, not a time for you to put things into action. Try to take it slow and just try to accomplish what you already have on your plate. Don't don't try to start nothing new this week. It might not go favorable. Para este Capricornio te dice la carta de la Reina de Bastos que vas a estar un poco estresada esta, este, esta semana, te sientes estresada, corajuda, cuidado con esas energías, piensa antes de hablar, trata de no pensar conflictos con las personas que no te tienes que estar desquitando, como que te veo como que te estás sintiendo cansado también, descansa, toma esta semana con calma, no empieces ningún negocio, no hagas nada en cuestiones de cambios radicales, porque puede ser que te salga muy mal, en todos modos que vas a tener éxito en cuestiones de proyectos, trabajos que ya tienes, pero no, no pongas nada nuevo, porque te, se, te va, se te va a revertir en cuestiones de mejor, en vez que te vaya bien, te va a ir mal, so, cuidado con eso, cuidado con pensar cosas nuevas en cuestiones de trabajos, negocios, proyectos, Nuevos se te van a hacer difíciles. Que si hay obstáculos que se te presentan esta semana, pero en todos modos puedes tener éxito, no más que no pienses nada nuevo. Para este. Aquarius, how's Aquarius going to be like this week from the 9th through the 15th? Aquarius, ah, definitely Aquarius, the card of the Four of Wands is going to be the card that's going to be dominating you. The Four of Wands says that you have energies of success, energies of harmony. It seems like you're resolving issues from the past. You're able to, to advance in terms of obstacles that you were dealing with, with problems that you were dealing with. You're able to fix it. You do seem to be feeling a bit, a bit stressed. Again, everyone's going to be feeling something from this eclipse, either stressed, overwhelmed, or like something's not necessarily like fulfilling your needs. You also have the energy of arguments or something not flowing in terms of uh, in terms of relationships. Nonetheless, you have a good news. You either receive a promotion or you receive some good news. You have something to celebrate good in this week. It's just that watch those emotional energies in terms of feeling stressed and something not flowing in terms of relationships, arguments. But I stay. Aquario te dice la carta de el seis de basto. El mira el cuatro de basto. Ay, me confundí. Este. Para este cuadro te dice la carta del cuatro de vasos que vas a tener una buena noticia que te viene llegando, la energía se está armonizando, puedes salir adelante en cuestiones de un obstáculo, problema que estabas lidiando con y como que un obstáculo se piensa mover para lo, para lo bueno, pero como que te estás sintiendo todavía emocional, estresado, 
si te llega como una promoción, como que la energía se está humanizando, una promoción o una, una buena noticia muy buena para ti, pero como que te sientes como que algo te falta, como que algo no te está llenando, te está, te está dando lo que querías que te diera, y te tienes que cuidar de las envidias, en cuestiones de pareja como que algo no fluye, otra vez trata de no pelear, pero sí te veo que te viene una, una noticia muy buena, y algo que tienes que celebrar, how is Pisces going to be like this week from the 9th through the 15th, how is Pisces going to be like this week from the 9th through the 15th, vamos a ver, eh, un poquito atoradito, Definitely the card of the Three of Pentacles is going to be the card that's going to be dominating you. Pisces, the Three of Pentacles says that in terms of, of money, you could be receiving extra money. You could be receiving compensations. The, the fruits of your labor are showing. But it tells you to watch out for, for competitive people, conflicts in terms of work-wise. You do seem to be feeling a bit sad or depressed. Again, it's those energies of the eclipse. Try not to argue due to misunderstandings. In terms of the Three of Pentacles, Continue pushing forward. Try not making any decisions. Try to hold off on, on decisions that have you pinned against the wall. Because something better might come up. Nonetheless, a little bit of an up and down week for you. Para este Pisces te dice como que va a ser una semana de arribas y bajas. Que te tienes que cuidar de energías competitivas o conflictos en el trabajo. Como que te estás sintiendo un poco triste o deprimido. Pero otra vez te digo que es la energía del eclipse. Si te llega un dinerito extra o un dinero que estás esperando. Que dice que te vienen recompensas. O lo que se debía ya te llega. Pero te dice que te tienes que cuidar de conflictos en el trabajo. De problemas por malos entendidos. No te estés peleando por malos entendidos. Te está comentando. En cuestiones de dinero, cuidado lo que estás haciendo, no hagas decisiones. Si te sientes entre la espada y la padre, no hagas decisiones, porque luego vas a hacer la decisión mal. Tómalo con calma esta semana, cuidado, no, no malgastes, no te vayas de compras, salva tu dinero y sana deudas, es lo que tienes que hacer esta semana. 